Can we drive the Tesla inside the train? Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you our next trip from the UK to Europe using the Channel Tunnel where we are going to drive our Tesla inside a train. So enjoy your video and have a good time. Okay, we arrive at the uh, Channel uh, Tunnel uh, where there is a Tesla supercharger and uh, the speed is not very fast as you can say we are only at 56 kilowatts mainly because when we arrived we still had 50% uh, and the battery probably was not warm enough uh, so we are going to stay there a little bit to charge a bit more and then go inside the train in front of the Euro tunnel terminals you have eight tesla supercharger and we were the only cars uh, charging at the time so that was really good you also have two others and you see there is ice car in front of that but the two others are not working so uh, we were very glad to 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 have the charger working for us and it was a good way to wait before our train departure times Okay, so after charging, the next step is you pass a custom with your passport from the British side and then the French side. And then they put you into a, a waiting lane to be able to board your train. So all those cars are waiting to board the train. Um, so we do the same. Uh, the Tesla are pretty large cars, so we have to go with... Um, uh, the uh, special uh, we cannot go on the double decker on the train we have to go on the single decker uh, train and uh, for our large vehicles and um, those kind of trucks as well so we are <laughs> we are with the trucks this is a ramp you have to drive through to enter the train a bit of history the Channel Tunnel was built in 1994 and opened in that year, so quite some years ago. You have three different ways to um, move between the UK and Europe to arrive in France near Calais. Uh, the first way is to um, Eurostar trains, uh, so it's a normal train for passengers. The second way is a freight train for big trucks, large truck, and um, they don't have a roof, they just drive on the platforms. And the third way is a train you see on the left, which is for cars where you drive inside uh, the train. So there is two different sections for that. One section is a double decker, the one you see on the left. Uh, right now, double-decker train where uh, small cars can uh, go at the bottom and at the top. And then there is a section for larger cars uh, and uh, minivans uh, and the likes. And because Tesla are quite large uh, cars, uh, you are forced when you book uh, the ticket to, to cross uh, to go into that section with larger vehicles. Um, you know, right now we are waiting in the queue to get in. Uh, they are quite careful because it's very narrow. Um, so, so people take their time to get into the train. And now we are driving inside uh, the train. So, so you will see you have um, people who guide you to, to make sure you enter properly. Uh, you drive one on back of the other. Um, they open this section uh, just for uh, boarding and then they close it back. This is a quite a long train. You will see you have to uh, go uh, each car uh, on back of each other. They leave a very small room between each cars. And uh, so they will uh, ask you to drive very close to the car in front of you. And each section of the train is closed by its doors that you see on the left here. So between each carriage, they close a good door when the train is moving. So right now we are driving to our own section. So we are going to drive all the way to the front and then park there uh, before they close uh, the section where we are. Uh, 
So the travel time inside the train when the train starts to move is around 30-35 minutes. So it's quite fast. Um, during that time, you stay in your car. Um, during the COVID period, uh, right now, you, you cannot get out of your cars. But before that, we, we used, people used to open the doors and walk around. So remember what to do when you are uh, in the train. So the, the first thing, we just did it, but you have to go to light and switch them off. Uh, so uh, they request that there is no light during um, the, the train, inside the train. And the second recommendation, it's um, if you go to uh, display, you can also start to change to look to kilometers uh, because in France, it's go everything will be in kilometers. So normally we do this one as well under the display button. And that's it, we are ready to go and the train should go soon. The train is now ready for departure. So you can start to see on the window, things are moving around us, but inside the train, nothing is moving. Uh, but we can see that the, the journey is starting for us. The good thing is you have a um, phone signal available during the 35 minute journey. Uh, so you can listen to your music, Spotify inside your car, uh, play your playlist or play games. This is a good break uh, to have. We are traveling around 115 meters under the sea level. Uh, during that journey and it's around 70-75 meter under the seabed uh, level um, so that's to show you how deep uh, you go during that uh, channel journey but it doesn't feel like it and you, you, you are in, inside this uh, train you stop your engine there's no pollution and uh, you, you can just have a break relax uh, before you go back on the other side as you can see, now there is light uh, at the end of the tunnel. Uh, we arrive in France, uh, so the car starts to debark. And you, you see the train is still quite long. There's still quite a long way to go for us to get out of uh, uh, the train. Um, when you are in France, uh, you have to remember to drive on the right side of the road. Check the speed limit uh, in France, which is different than in the UK. Uh, 130 uh, km an hour on the highway and uh, uh, and enjoy the trip really that's uh, how, how you do it so you see it's quite easy to do it with a Tesla to drive uh, through the train and get out and see the staff is waving goodbye and uh, very nice uh, staff uh, in that journey with us so we really had a, a great and easy uh, trip uh, to get uh, outside of the train and back to the highway in France. If you enjoyed the video, uh, please uh, click uh, subscribe and the like button. Don't hesitate to put comments as well. Uh, if you have any question about this trip, uh, any fears or question how to book uh, the tickets and uh, how, how to get out, uh, please don't hesitate. There will be other video on my channel, of course, uh, and a bonus at the end of this video for a nice view on the French motorways that I would like to show you. And uh, if I don't use, talk to you soon, enjoy the rest of the video. And uh, for the next time, I see you soon. Bye. Small bonus for you, uh, this is the highway in the north of France to continue our road trip and uh, we are on our way to Dijon where we are going to stay overnight and uh, we really enjoy this uh, view, beautiful scenery uh, of the sunset. Uh, we recharge the car in Troyes, uh, on, on the way there is a, a few good charger and the good thing is there was not too many people uh, in this uh, charger, uh, so we uh, continue uh, on our way to Dijon. In Dijon, there is uh, not too many superchargers around the city, so if you stay there, make sure you stay in a place who have an overnight uh, charger in a hotel, or if not, uh, charge before Dijon, and the one before is uh, the one in Troyes. 
Um, so enjoy the view. This is now going to be a video of the city of Dijon by night. Uh, this is uh, uh, in the front of the Museum of Art. Uh, beautiful uh, lightning uh, for Christmas. Uh, so to keep you in our Christmas mood, uh, look at the view. It was quite fantastic. So I let you enjoy the view and uh, hope to uh, see you on another video soon. Thank you for watching. Talk to you soon.